it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery and welcome to a special holiday episode of Meyer Makes. One of my favorite things to do this time of year is find a really snuggly blanket and make ornaments for my tree. Today we're going to make three special ornaments. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first ornament is the salt dough ornament and to make this ornament you're going to mix two cups of flour with one cup of salt and three quarters of a cup of hot water. Some recipes call for boiling water, but the hot water works just fine for me. I mixed it thoroughly until it was a good solid dough, and then I rolled it out and I used my mason jar lids as my cutter. I have a trick with the mason jar lids. If you put your cut out in the mason jar lid, it kind of creates um, a holder for your ornament when you're going to get your imprints um, from your chickens. So we took our ornaments outside, our, our cutouts, and we got some imprints from our chickens. That was lots of fun. I brought my ornaments back inside and I let them sit overnight so they dried. Then after they dried a little bit, I popped them out of the mason jar lid and I put them in the oven at 200 degrees for about three hours or so. Uh, you just want to make sure that your ornaments are fully dried before you start to decorate or seal them. To decorate your ornaments, you can leave them plain like this one here and just put a sealer on top of it. You can also take a paintbrush and paint in some glue. I mixed some glue with a little bit of water here and I filled in my imprint and then I found this really fine glitter and I sprinkled that inside of there and I sealed it and I got a really cool sparkly ornament here, uh, kind of celebrating our leghorn. Our next ornament is a really, really easy ornament. It's our feather ornament that we have here. And I actually cut out some sayings and put them on my feather ornaments. But this is a great way to use up those feathers from molt season, like we did with our fall season uh, wreath that we had. To make this ornament, you're just gonna get, they have these clear um, glass ornaments or plastic ornaments at your local craft store. You're gonna gently take your top off of your ornament like so. And then all you're gonna do is place your feathers inside your ornament. So I've got a little Buff Orpington feather here and my Bard Rock feather. And just like when we did our fall molt wreath, I've got some turkey feathers and some pheasant feathers too that I can add inside of here. And you can keep going until it's as full as you'd like it to be. This actually looks kind of neat just having just a few inside of there. When your ornament is all full, you can take your lid here. And some people like to put a little bit of tacky glue like this inside of here to keep their lid on. You don't have to, but it's just a little bit of extra security for your ornament, and you're good to go. Our last ornament is our little felt chicken ornament here. This one's my absolute favorite out of all these ornaments. To make this ornament, you're gonna need some felt pieces. These pieces here are cut into half inch strips, and they're about eight or nine inches long, and you'll need three of those. You'll need some little eyes for your chicken. So I found these little black beads at the store. You can use googly eyes, that works good as well. You need some wings for your chicken. So I just cut out some wings here. You could also even use some of your feathers that you have if you'd like to make some wings for your chicken. You're also going to need some orange felt and some red felt to make your beak and your comb. So let's go ahead and put our chicken together. Now to make this project, you can use the tacky glue or if you want, you can use a hot glue gun as well. I've used a hot glue gun on some of these. But to make this, you're going to take your first piece of felt here. You're gonna roll it up. And when you get to the end here, you're going to put just a little bit of glue on the end here. Okay. All right, I've got 
a little extra there. All right, so that kind of holds that in place. And then you're gonna wrap one more time. So I put a little bit of glue again on this very edge. And then I'm going to take this piece here and I'm gonna wrap it all around here. And when I get to the very end here, I'm going to glue that end off just like that. So it's nice and closed up there. Then you're going to take your third strip that you have and you're going to roll this one up just like what we were doing with the first piece. Just like that. Again, you're going to glue your edge like so. And then you're going to glue your head to the body of your chicken. And what I like to do is I like to continue that spiral. So I'll put my glue here and then I kind of connect the two ends of the spiral together. So it's like this. Okay. It's just like so. Then what you can do is, this is the fun part, we get to decorate our chicken a little bit. So we can take our little wings and I'm just gonna put those into the center here. And we'll flip that one over and do the same thing on the other side. Right. We're gonna add our beak pieces here. So I'll take this. And I'll cut my two little triangles here. Okay. So there's just two little pieces. And we'll glue that into place right on here. Now with the tacky glue, you're gonna need to let this sit overnight so all your pieces dry. Put that on there. Add our little beak pieces. You can kind of open up the beak after the glue dries a little bit. My last piece that I want to add here is my comb. I'm just going to cut a little piece off my red felt here. And we'll just kind of cut a comb. Every comb is a little different, so you can make it however you like. My little trick with this is after you get your comb cut out, kind of cut a little kind of curve in the bottom of it. That's going to help it sit better on top of your chicken's head. I'm actually going to put the glue on here. Just a little bit of glue. Like that. And we'll put it onto our chicken here. All right. Now, we're actually going to let this dry for a little bit. And my last step after all my pieces have dried is we'll go ahead and we'll take these little beads here that we have. And these are really cool. They actually are flat on one side. So it looks like an eye. So here's what those eyes look like. And we'll just put a little dot of glue here and gently put the eye on there. Sometimes I wait until it's totally dry before I go putting on the eye piece. So we're gonna let that dry. And here's what our chicken, our felt chickens look like when they're all dry are all dry and ready to go. So I've got this kind of gray one here reminds me a little bit of my bard rock. And I've got a white one here that reminds me of my leghorn. And I'm a huge fan of the buff Orpington, so I did a yellow chick to remind me of my buff Orpington. So now it's time to hang up our ornaments. And some quick ways you can hang up your ornaments. For an ornament like our feather ornament here, you can use those hangers that you find at the store. And you can go ahead and place that right on your tree here. For our salt dough ornament that we have here, I uh, put a string through the ornament here. And you wanna find a branch that's really um, sturdy that can hold up because this ornament's got a little bit of weight to it. To hang up our little felt chicken ornaments that we have here, again, I just ran a piece of thread through the top of my ornament. And I can go ahead and place that on our tree here. And we have our yellow chick again. And I forgot to show you before, 
I even made a black astrolurp. I hope you enjoyed creating these ornaments with me. If you have any questions, make sure to visit us at MeyerHatchery.com. If you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Happy Holidays!